So here we have our gas exchange analyzer, which we use to understand the metabolic energy used for different activities. So for somebody walking or running or even using an assistive device like these exoskeletons that we have over here. Now the way that this works is we first calibrate the system to understand how much oxygen and carbon dioxide is in the, the room air. So we have, um, we actually have a, a tube here that can calibrate the amount of the volume of air that's coming in and out of this mask. And then we have some very um, precisely calibrated gas in a tank back here that we use to calibrate the system. And once we know what the room air composition is, we have somebody put on this mask. So they put it on like their mouth like this. And there's a turbine inside of here um, that measures the flow rate of air in and out of their mouth. There's also this um, small straw-like thing that pulls the air that people are breathing out and is able to analyze how much oxygen someone is using during an activity. So typically for an experiment like this, we'd have somebody do an activity until they reach steady state. So something like um, two minutes of doing the exact same thing and we could then find their steady state energy consumption. So something like watts per kilogram. Um, and there's, there's some new tools that we can use inertial measurement units to do this much more quickly, but this is the gold standard for understanding um, energy consumption during activities. Now, if we were to generate um, a musculoskeletal simulation, we could combine it from motion capture, we could combine it with this measurement and understand the, um, the muscle level metabolic energy of, of an activity. So this tells us what the whole body is doing, but we might be interested in how much energy, say, the calf muscle is using. So we often combine this technology with motion capture and electromyography um, to get both a whole body and a muscle level understanding.